We're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. She just repeats that animation over and over again. All right, well... Well, you enjoy your snack, because I don't get any. Uh, I wanted some. Did I actually even get any? No, I have I have no I have no plasmid thing. It's not fair. Why does she get to eat all the little sisters? Uh. In restoring your will, oh, cool. Eleanor was asking you how to behave. And how did you use it? To prey upon the innocent. Now look at her. You have fought. A killer. Uh, yes, I have, and I'm, I, I would not be, I am not ashamed of this. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. Why is it telling me to go this way? Uh, oh, okay. This seems to be up here. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. Yeah, no, I'm cool with that, sis. Didn't I already go up to the, the thing? See you later, objects. Alright, uh, hypnotized. No, I wanted. Where's that fucking telekinesis? There we go. Enemy in your way? Not anymore. Throw him with the power of your mind. Mind bullets. Alright, I don't think I need anything else actually. I think I'm pretty much good. I can I can get like ice storm and some other shit. Ah uh, fuck it. You would rip my only daughter from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. They come, Father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. I don't even know where they're coming from. Does it even matter if I die? There's like a fucking bite chamber in here. Alright. Well, turrets all over the place. <sighs> Might as well. This is the this is the f epic finale. Oh now they're actually getting a little bit more difficult. But I have like a shit ton of turrets here. Like this is the most damage I've actually seen them do in forever. Are they coming through the doors or what? I don't even know. So this is actually I find to be better because it, you know the l I, I hated the final boss in the other one. It's boiling. I can help you fight back now. Use the plasmid. Uh, as soon as I find it, there you go. Come help me out. It uses up, like, all my fucking Eve, too. No, you killed my thing! Asshole. Alright, let's see. Kill fuel. Yeah. They put on a whole bunch of brute splicers, alright. And I can just break him apart. So it's boiling, but we just have to wait for it all to turn into steam. Like you can't, you don't have to manage it down out there. I will not question this. I'm just gonna kind of just have fun watching her do stuff. Apparently, I go right through you. So it's a far better conclusion than Bioshock 1, because you just kill like just lots and lots of guys, which everyone loves that. 
I was about to say, I feel like I should get more health packs, but I now don't feel that like that. Big sister and big daddy just fucking tearing shit up. I think that's what makes this fu this boss fight, uh, in a sense, that probably one of the better ones. And now she's on fire. I've done it, Father. The ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. Uh oh, gotta go up that way. Let's have a look. The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here. Or we, we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator. Oh, it's that way. I'm wondering why this is actually necessary. Now everything in here is definitely dead. I don't know why I didn't do this as the first thing. Whatever. Oh, cool. Look, it's an Alpha series. Ah, oh, whatever. The dead will be reborn or something. Alright, hi. What? The fuck? The bombs, Father! We're falling! Run! It was a trap! Your dream was over. You taught me that innocence is chrysalis, a phase designed to end. Only when we are free from it do we know ourselves. You showed me that my survival, my joy, are all that matter. I indulge, nothing else exists. Her dream is over, and in waking, I am reborn. You may not have wanted me, Father, but you defined me. You chose to survive, no matter the cost, and I will not let your instincts go to waste. Be with me, Father. Your memories, your drives. When I need you, you'll be there, whispering from my shoulder. There is no name for what I am. The world is about change. 
And with your help, they will never see me coming. Uh, okay, hi, hi, subtitles. Well, that's the end of that one. <laughs> Evil ending, best ending. That's that's fucking great. <laughs> I had fun with that. I don't care. So, as people were saying, um, I failed. The game actually failed in a lot of aspects, like the gunplay for me. Like I, I like the gameplay, and I hated the guns, but the the, the the drill made it worth it for me. I had fun doing a run with that just that um people didn't like the storyline people didn't like a whole lot of this and and you can see why it failed in a lot of aspects so i don't know it, it could have been just trying to cash in you think they were trying to cash in just because like you know something like system shock 2 was known to be the best system shock so they thought that bioshock 2 would be like people would buy it just based upon that i don't know at any rate uh i, I think it's i think it was worth at least the I, I get the, did get two runs out of this, so it's, it wasn't all that bad. Um, you know, it could have been improved. I, you don't have to get it. You can get it on discount or something like that. The one problem is games for Windows Live. Thank God they're not putting it into Infinite. So we're, we'll be get, we'll get, be giving uh, Infinite a good look at. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be interesting. City in the sky rather than city underneath the ocean. We'll see what the problem is there in that city. What, whatever fucking fell apart there. Uh, but, but yeah, that was um, that was fun. I had a I had a lot of fun with that, and I was I was glad I was able to do it again for you guys. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it better than my uh, my previous playthrough. Uh, who knows? Uh, these are some really creepy concept arts. Who even knows? There's apparently a downloadable content. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it. I'll see how I feel. Maybe maybe next month or something. I'll I'll do something in between rather than this. But uh. And I will give it a good look at, and we'll I'll figure it out then if I want if I really want to be doing it. Man, they do look creepy in the concept art. But yeah, um, I don't know. I uh, let me know what you thought and uh, like where you thought it fell short the game because I don't know. It was it, as I said, it was okay to me, but uh, to me it was the environment that really does it it's the whole underwater city thing that always gets me that's that's it's that's it's i think that's its most unique aspect uh a lot of a lot of games don't do 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 environments like that it's always like you know fucking middle east in butt fuck nowhere or whatever so you know this is it was fresh in that aspect and i think it was a really uh it just just from environment alone that made it that made it really nice so yeah it's cool uh, but yeah, so, as I said, probably not worth $60 that I paid for it when it came out, but, you know, probably worth, like, 5 or 10 whatever it is now, so, if you want it, it's, uh, probably on Steam, and you can probably go, go give it a go, go again, and, uh, try doing a drill, as I said, the, the drill, I, I really hope there's some sort of, like, really fun melee, uh, mechanic in, in Infinite, and I, I, I would hope more games do things like that, like, the drill dash is fucking a lot of fun. Despite the fact it made things really easy, because I had like all these like buffs to the drill, like damage, and I didn't take as much damage, and whenever I got hit, it did something. It was really, really easy. Um, I think the only times I died is when I was being a, d a dumb. I think I ran out of like health packs like once or twice. But you know, I, I I don't really think that this is this is necessarily a game that's worth. Um, Challenging yourself intentionally because it's just you, know, you can do you can be playing other things so that are actually challenging So it's just kind of for the experience and you know for the fun of it That's my thoughts on it anyways um, Yeah, it's, they got they have some cool concept art. I mean they 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 knew what they were doing in that in the environmental aspects, but it's just yeah And it's still it still bugs me how how killing Alexander is um is bad like <laughs> he may have wanted it he wanted it he wanted you to do that you know no, nobody got hurt except for the, the the shit he's become you know i wonder how much they debated on that you know like how much they were like no it could be bad no it could be good i don't even know who the hell thought that up i, I just thought that was the stupidest part and i never got it at all Ah, uh, well. 
Hey, look, uh, a green plant of some sort. I think I missed like one or two of the slugs, but that's okay. I, the thing is, this, this is not, my run was not technically the most atom you can possibly get, but I got a fair amount, so it was okay. Uh, I got enough. And Lamb was, Lamb was a shitty, <laughs> shitty protagonist, I'm sorry, or whatever, not protagonist, or is it called protagonist? Whatever, whatever the enemy. Um, just her, what she said and what she did, did didn't make sense. What the fuck? What were they thinking of doing here? His muscles were like ripping out or something? I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of unused concepts that sort of went to waste. Oh well. Um, no, yeah, Lamb didn't make sense. Like, Lamb didn't follow her ideals. I guess Andrew Ryan technically didn't either. I guess it's like a running theme. Is that like all the main people? I think the only person who's ever really listened to their ideals is uh, um, uh, what's his name, Frank Fontaine. You know. Being a con artist and being a being a general fuck, you know. At least he did that well. <laughs> no, Andrew Ryan was a hypocrite and Lamb was a hypocrite, so they're all they're all hypocrites. What the hell are these guys even? Why have we? Why didn't we see them? They made art for it and then didn't didn't use it. It's like, hey, this is cool enough to put in the credits and show people. It, it's like it wasn't even a failed concept. It's kind of like we just didn't use it. This is what it could have been. <laughs> uh, I think they were bored and they had nothing else to put inside the credits. So they just put, they just made the people who draw a whole bunch of stuff all day make a bunch of stuff. There you go, that, there's your spear gun. The one that was terrible, I used it, I tried to use it and I just, it, I couldn't, could not have fun with that. Oh, that's nasty. What have they done to you, science? But what what is it with like them and, and making like people turn into like shit? Wow, he's got a monkey face. <laughs> I'm just gonna criticize like all the art here. I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, something interesting to note is that the the DLC for this is actually from within Win Games for Windows Live. It is not within uh, Steam. You have to literally go on Games for Windows Live and, and buy it. And so that's why that's why the Steam actually made a rule following this that they said every single time now people have to, um, uh, you can't sell DLC through third-party services. It's why EA got pissed off because EA wants to fucking cash in. You know, EA is a fuck. But anyways, um, so that's why Steam made this rule, and that's why all the DLC for games now is now sold through Steam. Uh, not only for the fact that like I had no idea that there was a, a expansion that was released for this, uh, but it's also for the fact that yeah. Um, you know, I guess, I guess they don't want people sell. They don't want them selling like uh, shit for like like really cheap, you know, and then and then just go cashing it on the DLC without like you basically using Steam to get the get people the game, but to rob them of their money. I guess Gabe Ben's smart like that. What can I say? Uh, well, yeah. Thank you. Thank all of you for uh, for watching and. Uh, Ah, uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed my my second run through this game, which I I had some idea more of what I was doing opposed to my first blind run. Usually when I do blind runs, I'm kind of more like mellow and I'm just like I don't really know what I'm doing. But this one I was kind of like I kind of know what I'm doing in this case. Uh, but you, know, I think I'll do infinite blind anyways because why not? Um, I, as you guys know, I don't I don't do games truly blind anymore. Like like blind blind. Like I actually play like the, like the first hour on my own and then that kind of gets me into the mechanics so that you don't see me. Because it's like when you do something and you don't actually try it out first, um, you tend to, you, you fuck up and it's like, oh, what do I do here? Kind of like how in the first 10 parts I didn't actually know there was a sprint key on, on Skyrim. That fucking pissed me off. Like to this day, I, I hate that LP and <laughs> that's why I don't do that anymore. I'm just kind of like, you know, I'll, I'll figure out the sprint in the first 10 parts. That's it. But to be fair, the, the last game didn't have it, and I had no indication of doing that. Um, I guess there was a key for it, but I, if I'm starting it for the first time, I, I usually don't check that stuff. I don't check, because it's like I'm on camera, right? So I don't really do it, So because I don't really want to show you guys me checking stuff. So it's why don't I just do that on my own, is the question. So, you know, you technically get the, the full blind experience, but... Because technically, you could even say this is blind somewhat, because it's like, um, I knew what I was doing, 
but I had forgotten everything, so, you know. I love that subtitle. It's just still there. Well, we have to thank Sissy, apparently. That's what it said there. Well, that's it. Uh, now it's loading. Uh, so that's it. So this has a single player and a multiplayer. Uh, I'm not going to go do multiplayer at all, because multiplayer I don't feel was any good, because I, I hated it. And plus, the, this, this, can, this game kind of controls like ass to begin with, so like the aiming, whatever. So I hope you enjoyed my playthrough, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.